Good afternoon. Just finished our uh, lunch sessions. Forgetting the time. Um, resistance band. So I wanted to jump on this afternoon just to talk about one easy, quick strategy you can implement right today to start to feel in control of food again. And I say it's easy because anyone can do it right today. You don't need a shopping list. You don't need quinoa. You don't need anything that's going to be time consuming. You can literally put this in straight away and increase our awareness. So let's talk through it. And, and the question to ask here is, is it worth the wait? And this is based on research around delayed gratification. And if you think about urges, if you think about anything like homework with kids, you know, finish your homework first, then you can watch TV. We use these things all the time. I'm going to get my exercise done early, then I can start the rest of my day. I can get I can get out for a walk in the middle of the day, then I'll start my next piece of work. All these things we come in with, with delaying, we've got this choice of delay, to delayed gratification. And delayed gratification is essentially asking the question, is it worth the wait? Is it worth the wait? So when people come to me and they say, I eat all these healthy meals, I'm fine, it's just the evening more so, or I've gone into Lidl, Audi, Asda, whatever, Waitrose, and I've gone past the bakery and I've just gone and bought some nice smelling pastry. Now that's in the house. I don't like throwing away food. That's what we tell ourselves. And then all of a sudden, then we have that urge when we know it's in the fridge to have it. And the delayed gratification here pretty much dictates whether we succeed or not in, in anything. And you can relate this to anything. And if you look at like the marshmallow experiment, if you've ever heard of that, that's where they essentially gave kids um, a marshmallow and then the parents come in and said, right, if you, if you don't have the marshmallow now, if you just wait there and don't eat it, you can have two, but I'm just going to be back shortly to get the other one. And it's really interesting. They linked some of this, the results to the people who essentially waited and got the two were more likely to be successful, less likely to have depression and amongst other things as well. And it was, it was really interesting. So how can you build this ability to wait, if you like, or really build our awareness to go that actually we can trust that we will get a dopamine hit and we will get a high if we wait? Because a part of this could be hereditary. Maybe we don't, we don't know. Maybe there's a genetic um, predisposition there to potentially be less or more likely to have that ability to look at delayed gratification differently. But we can definitely work on it. We know from research that people who start very small with things and make it so that they literally cannot fail on the way generally do better from this. So it could be that you make something so simple and clear today. And I'm going to tie this into nutrition now. So let's look at eat everything in moderation. Has anyone tried to do that before and succeeded? I, I don't actually know anyone who's try to eat everything in moderation and succeeded because there's so much choice there's no clear defined structure to it which means if you're anything like me you can justify anything right I know for a fact I can justify finishing my kids dinner because you know there's some protein on it some veg on there it's all good I'm not hungry but I've not defined a rule so if I then turn this on the opposite everything in moderation I can I can literally justify everything I do I could eat all day justifying it on everything in moderation that's not to say you should restrict foods about giving your permission but having some clear guidelines like you know i don't eat after 7 p.m i don't finish my kids dinner and what i mean by this is now starting to look at where we can add a so that on the end of our strategy to remind ourselves daily so that we drill it into our heads that we do have the ability to do this. So let's give an example of this. I am going to write everything down before I eat it so that I am more mindful of the way I eat. Like that habit right there is very simple. If you walked up to someone in the street, they would probably go, yeah, I know, I'd know if you did it or not. Whereas if you tell them, I'm just going to eat everything in moderation, they would have no idea whether you did it or not, right? So this is the difference between being overwhelmed and going, I don't know where to start, and actually having a clear direction to make progress and to allow yourself to be disciplined to something. And although that sounds quite negative, 
the research is quite clear on delayed gratification that when you're disciplined to something, one, you've know, you, you know whether you've done it or not, and two, you're aware, you're clear of a plan. And if you, because if you can't be disciplined to anything, or if you don't have anything to be disciplined to, you're always going to set yourself up to fail because you're always going to be comparing yourself to your best day or whatever perfect is, but yet we haven't even defined what perfect is. So my advice to you would be to really make this as specific as possible. And I'm actually going to help you work through this on Wednesday in my free talk. If you're coming to that Wednesday, 8 p.m., this Wednesday, 20th October, 8 p.m., we're going to be working through some steps to help you really build out a simple plan for you, like one thing that you can take away and do right now that isn't eat everything in moderation. Because as much as that's good for some people, if you're anything like me, I can literally just eat all day because I'm eating everything in moderation. Anyway, I hope you're all good. Any questions on that, let me know. If you want, if you don't have access to that right now and you're not in the free group, uh, Ladies Get Fit with Fruity Fit, that's the group you need to be in. That's where I'll be live at 8 p.m. on uh, Wednesday. Just comment with Comfort Eating below and I'll invite you to that group just to make sure you're in there. You will be able to get the replay as well. And I'll see you soon. Have an awesome day. Take care.